More than 60 hurricanes have struck the Texas Gulf Coast, nearly one-third of them making landfall as a Category 3 or greater. And the Galveston hurricane of 1900 still ranks as the deadliest storm in U.S. history, killing more than 8,000 people. More recently, Hurricane Ike devastated the Gulf Coast in 2008 along a path very similar to that of the Galveston hurricane. While Ike's death toll was relatively small, the property damage totaled about $32 billion, making Ike the third costliest Atlantic hurricane in U.S. history. Even when the hurricane season misses us, we run the risk of being engulfed by violent storms, tornadoes, or devastating flooding. No one who lived here in 2001 is likely to forget Tropical Storm Allison, which remains the costliest tropical storm in U.S. history. And hazardous cargo barrels down our freeways every day, around the clock. But remember, disaster can strike at any moment, from an unexpected explosion to an event that you can see coming for days in advance, such as a hurricane. Various government agencies to successfully put their disaster plans into action for the region as a whole. These organizations are well coordinated with each other and have planned and trained for all types of disasters. <laughs> their plan depends on you. Knowing what to do and what not to do can make a huge difference, so it's important that you stay informed. Our emergency operations center goes back several years, and we've built a facility uh, that we're proud of in Galveston County built to handle Category 5 conditions, 35-foot storm surge, 175 mile an hour winds. It's located in the northern part of our county, away from the coast, away from the bay. It took us about two years to build the facility, and uh, it's built to withstand a Category 5 hurricane. Uh, one of the primary benefits of the facility is that we have co-located with us the National Weather Service, as well as the 911 Communications District and uh, offices for the state of Texas as well. Being co-located with Galveston County Emergency Management has made that coordination uh, a whole lot easier and it also has helped our coordination not only with Galveston County but with the other emergency management agencies around the area. Hey, we're standing in the brand new city of Los Angeles Emergency Operations Center. Today they dedicated it. And it's really great, you know, FEMA, we're part of this team that's made up of state and local and all the various response community. And behind me, you see what Los Angeles has done to put their team together to respond to disasters. But as we talked about today, as much as this building and this team are important to respond to disasters, we know that the other part of that is making sure that all of us are prepared. Get a plan, get trained, get ready, because in a disaster, you may be the cl closest response to your neighbors. These folks here are doing the best they can to take care of the folks here in Los Angeles. You need to get a plan to be ready to support your team and your home community so we can all be successful. Remember, get a plan, get trained when disaster strikes. Make sure you and your family are okay. Check on a neighbor. Let's help these folks do their jobs by doing ours. You're now in the operations section of the Emergency Operations Center. This is the heart and soul of our response activity in that we monitor all actions going on throughout the center from this location. than 18 and we have 16 cases less than 12 months and we have half male and half female cases. Um, I, I'm looking at this week as uh, a week of, of transition. You see representatives in this room but this is only the tip of the iceberg of where we have people supporting this event. Mm -hmm. 